I'm about to get on a bus to meet up with someone I've never met before. I don't even know what they fucking look like. But by tomorrow, I would have slept in their house, surfed down a volcano with them, and lain on a beach. So basically, a few days ago, a bloke named Roger messaged me on TikTok and asked to meet up. He had no profile picture, no videos, and I know nothing about him other than his name, Roger. But since my best mate Jake recently went home and left me all alone solo traveling, I've had some pretty cold and lonely nights. So rather than making friends in a hostel like a normal person, I've decided to meet up with a potential serial killer and hopefully make a new best friend. I've arrived at the bus stop, if you can call it that, and now I just need to find out which bus is going next to Managua. So I guess we'll walk around and find out. Yeah. See Managua. I'm actually quite stressed out. This might be the last thing I ever do because I'm going to Managua with all my bags to meet someone I've never met before and spend the night around their house. It keeps just hitting me, right? The I'm meeting up with this guy I don't even know what he fucking looks like. What am I doing? And when I say I am fucking stressing about this guy, fucking Roger. And I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all turn out fine. But it's kind of like a leap of faith, you know? Just have to hope, hope and pray. All right, we have arrived in Managua and we're just gonna find a cafe now and wait for our chariot to arrive. Hopefully a chariot and not a fucking, uh, I don't know, death wagon. <laughs> So we've got a name now, Anna, and she should be here any moment. I'm actually quite excited to explore Managua because it's not a massive place that tons of people go to. So I'm excited to get a unique perspective on it, whether that's from the back of a van with no windows, or maybe we get an actual experience. Either way, it'll make a story. Hola. As soon as I stepped in the car, all my fears washed away, and we headed to our first location. <laughs> Alright, so we got hot chocolate, apparently the best in Nicaragua or Managua? In Managua. In Managua. Yeah. So, cheers. That is really good, yeah. Alright, so I've made it to Managua and I'm currently at Roger's house. Thank you for having me. You're welcome, man. I think now we're just gonna chill out, go around Managua. And there we go, my kidneys are intact so far. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted to show me the best their city had to offer. They took me to a fritanga. Tell us what it is. Okay, so this is gallo pinto, carne asada, cerdo asado, eh, queso frito, repollo y maduro frito. But whilst enjoying the tour of Managua, I forgot one small but important detail. So just in case you were wondering, you cannot bring drugs or guns into the fucking children's theme park. Oh no! One thing that was going to come back to haunt me tomorrow. I genuinely fucking hate heights. Like my hands are sweating and shaking just from a fucking ferris wheel. I shit you not, this fucking shitty ferris wheel is creaking and popping above us, man. What is this noise? I don't know why on earth I decided to do that. A nice reminder that I am still scared of bloody heights. It's 4.30 in the morning, so I'm absolutely shattered. We're heading all the way over to the town of Leon today, where we're gonna do some volcano boarding. I've been in the car for about four fucking hours now, and honestly, I've slept for most of it. So, teleportation, really. You guys wanna introduce yourselves? Okay, so, hi, my name is Anna, and I am Nicaragua, I have 21 years old, and I met Max yesterday, and now we're here, Cerro Negro. Give us a fun fact about yourself. I'm a pretty good DJ. I'm Roger, I'm 25 and I'm a doctor and I met Max yesterday also and right now we're here at uh, uh, San Romero and 
Getting to know the crew a little bit. Climbs a bit sweaty, not too bad. Feet are slipping though, and I've got this board to carry. But basically, when we get to the top, we're gonna slide down at 70 kilometers an hour, I think. So fucking insane. If we fall, it's literally on rocks and gravel, not sand. So not a nice landing. I Made it to the top, honestly, pretty easy. Took about 45 minutes, I think. But Roger and Anna are a bit, a bit further behind, so wait for them to catch up. Times like this, where, like the Ferris wheel yesterday, where I get reminded that I am actually fucking scared of heights and I'm about to fucking sled down a volcano about 500 meters. For why? Woo! How are you feeling before we go? Excited? <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather say I'm excited than I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> you can say you're shitting your pants. I've already said I'm shitting my pants, so... <laughs> so now we're two. Yeah, now we're both shitting our pants. How are you, Roger? How are you feeling? Hey. I'm feeling excited. Three minutes, almost an hour to come here. And 30 seconds to go down. Ready to start the fast descent down the mountain. Breakneck speeds. Absolutely rapid. I got stoned in my fucking hair. I take back all of my sarcastic comments. You go so fucking fast. As soon as you like drop down the part that we can't see anymore, like you're going super quick. Fucking exhilarating, my heart is going. That was fucking cool. But yeah, it's not every day you can see you sledded down a volcano, but here we are, now I can. Fucking insane. What a little holiday this is turning into, man. All right, it's a new dawn. It's a new day, new dawn, new dawn, new day. New dawn, new day. It's a new dawn, new day, and it's another step in the flourishing friendship. Basically, today is our final day. So, we're heading to the beach of El Transito. Gonna explore there a little bit, and then I'm heading off to Leon, and we're going our separate ways. I cannot fucking believe how insane this is, man. Just met up with this random guy. This is the house I get to stay in. I feel like I hit the jackpot. That is if I get out of here with all my organs. My kidneys only have one day they need to survive. Do you want to tell the people where we are? So right now we're in El Transito. We're in uh, one of my best friends uh, of, of my dad's house. And you're going to get to know how the vibe in here is. Pretty unique experience if I've ever heard one. But yeah, so we're going on a walk now. That is where we're walking to. But like in local water. <laughs> no, we don't see this in London. One day, I'm surfing down a volcano, and the next, I'm here on the beach. I love this country, man. Obviously, huge shout out to Roger and Anna, who are over there at the moment, for fucking showing me their country, and just letting me appreciate things that I wouldn't appreciate otherwise. And the fact that, at the moment, I'm not sure how much of it I'm gonna end up being able to record, but we're just chilling at like their friend's house right next to the beach and it's lovely like they're lovely people just amazing to talk to so again just unique things that i would never do if i was just on my own or going to normal hostels so this part of el transito is a virgin place there's no houses there's no nothing and you're not gonna get to see this part of the or something like this in anywhere in Nicaragua. Don't think I could look more English now if I tried. I'll wait. Yes, I fucking can. 